Welcome to Dungeon Painter Studio Tutorials. Today we're going to do some simple stairs. So we select a nice flooring that we like. And we're just going to draw a simple 10 foot wide corridor using the rectangle. Next, we're going to add a wall. Now, I always like to rename our layers. So this one will be a corridor floor. And of course, we have our corridor wall. Um, the corridor wall isn't particularly exciting. So we'll select walls, drop the box down and pick a slightly better one. Highlight it, right click, they'll select it. Next, to make it look that little bit uh, more special, we're going to effects and add a long shadow. Now, if we zoom in, as you can see, it looks that little bit better. Now, imagine that we want a uh, simple stair covering a 10 foot section here. The easy way to do that is to go to the line tool, select black, and a thickness of probably about three. So we allow half and just draw the lines. I'm just weaving up and down. Then enter to finish. And there's our line. So I just can rename that to Coda stairs next it doesn't look particularly exciting because we can see the jackiness of the uh, weaving so we'll move that down to between the wall and the floor as you can see that looks a lot better still not particularly exciting so what we can now do is add a shadow effect to it. There you go. What we can also do is if we're not quite happy with that, we can edit that and tweak the adjustment, maybe down to two. And that's a nice simple stair effect. You can always change the colour if you like. To fit in with the stairs. Nice thing about this, this will work with any flooring. So we open the source here. We could put wood in. We could go to a dirt floor and if you're worried about some of the lines on here they're just from the grid so we go to the back grid we can reduce the transparency there you go this also has a nice effect if you uh, want to create a raised area so if we go back to our original flooring and draw another rectangle add a wall and what we'll do is we'll call this room
and room wall. Obviously on the room wall will have the uh, 3D effect. Which makes it stand out that bit better. So maybe we want to create a raised area here. We can do that. Once again with the line tool. Ah, that's the wall tool. Let's remove that. Let's go to line. And there's our line. So what we do is we'll rename that to room steps. And now we can zoom in a bit closer on there. Change the wall. So to pick up a previous wall setting, open source tool, click back, click back onto our new wall, right click, Fill selected. Quick, easy way to move between objects. So to the steps, effect, apply long shadow. Now that has worked. I'll be honest with you, it's not the best because you got the shadow in at the wrong points on the wall. Now we can correct that. We can make that slightly better. So, but if we got the long shadow, if we copy this. Now copying at the moment, I'm sure Pyro, the uh, maker of the product, will tweak this. I copied it, but it's actually created a copy layer, but it's left as in the original. So if I close that, go down to the copy and edit that. Rename that to be um, Room Steps Shadow. Make sure we're on the wrong one. That's applied that. Now what we can do here is we've got an angle. So we should be able to tweak the angle. As you can see the shadow is moving. That's the alpha. Let's try the angle. There you go. So that looks like better because the light is going from the bottom up. From here up. Casting the shadow on the outside. Leaving the top edges a lot cleaner. A lot crisper. Very simple walls. That one there we went for a factor of two. This one here, currently we've got a factor of two. You can increase it, or you could decrease it. But I think two gives you the best effect. And that is the example for today. Nice, simple shadow effect within a room. Thank you.